Well, hello world, it has been a little bit of a long time, but I'm back and today I'm going to unravel or unopen even a parcel which was sent to me by a Mr. Rudolf Ondrich who bought this, he lives in Australia and found a UK person selling, let's just open this up a little bit, let you see it, okay, selling a flexi disc, that's not a flexi disc, that's two pieces of cardboard, of ABBA live in 1977. Now, for those of you who are not of my era, uh, flexi discs are uh, made of very, very thin plastic. They tended to be given away on the front of magazines and stuff like that. I remember the Smash Hits one uh, from Christmas 1982 with uh, uh, loads of pop stars all saying Merry Christmas and stuff like that on it. And, you know, they were quite funny things, really. Um, and this is a uh, flexi disc that was given away with a magazine. As you can see, it says not for sale on there. This looks to be in very good condition, actually. The cover not creased at all, so hopefully the record won't be. But yeah, I mean, they, they're they really very, very flimsy plastic. Let's just have a little look at this one. Thankfully, it comes in a little plastic uh, sleeve as well. And on one side, it's pure gold. And then on this side, it's got, hold on. So it looks like it was a Christmas gift of Ava Live in 1977 and it looks like it was just for readers of a particular magazine to say thank you for being so nice to them when they came to Australia. So yeah and it I've, I have actually heard this that it's, it's been broadcast on YouTube but I'm going to try and do my own transfer of it because hopefully the um, the guy who played it on YouTube uh, had a, a really yucky record player like a Crosley or something like that because the speed was everywhere now when you play a 12 uh, a flexi disc it's always best to have an old record underneath it this is about the oldest I could find this was an eBay purchase this was just because I used to have this one as a very 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 tiny boy and uh I got a, a little bit of nostalgia for it. It's Pinky and Perky's Hit Parade number two. However, um, it's in such beaten up condition um, that the, the guy actually gave me a refund because it's really worth the bin. So this is the sort of kind of record that you want to put underneath a flexi disc. So I'm going to give this a play in a minute. I'm not going to let you hear it because of copyright and rubbish like that. But yeah, um, so it's here, Rudolph. It's in very good condition. And uh, yeah, um, I'll be making a transfer of it for you. I might come back and let you know how the transfer went. I think I'll do that. All right, see ya, bye. Well, that turned out to be me talking absolute bullshit. I've done some internet digging. Apparently this was a gift that was given to Swedish school children who went round delivering Christmas editions of magazines. Um, they never got, actually got paid, but they could save up, depending on how many magazines they managed to deliver and stuff, uh, they could save up to um, earn coupons and things for gifts and stuff like that. Um, one year, ABBA or Polar Music put together this uh, as a thank you to those children who were doing uh, Christmas selling that year, and I think 60,000 of them were made. The track listing is just extracts from songs, um, only five of them. Uh, funnily enough, two of them feature Bjorn on lead vocals, which is a bit weird, really, uh, considering that they only chose five five tracks. But you've got three minutes, 35 seconds of Fernando. You've got Rock Me, one minute, 37 seconds of it. Why did it have to be me? A minute and 15 seconds of it. Money, 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 that's got one minute and 10 seconds on it. And Waterloo, uh, which has got one minute and 37 seconds on it. And uh, it actually plays very well indeed. It's not very loud. The quality isn't very good, but it is in stereo, just about. You just about make out that it's in stereo. Um, and it's a little bit crackly, but the, the speed stability, which is the thing that I was really worried about, seems to be okay. Uh, a little bit dodgy because it's a flexi disc, but nowhere near as bad as I've heard it before. Um, 
so yeah, uh, this uh, is seems to be a pretty good purchase. Okay, I will make a transfer of it, but not today because I've got to fiddle faffle with loads of leads and stuff like that, and I can't be bothered. So I will do it another day in the coming days. Okay, see you later. Bye now.